There's a lot of great activity that's going on. Um, and and the, the beauty of what's taking place, which uh, just uh, makes me uh, delighted that we can move forward on these issues, is that the marketers are engaged. Their energies are focused at stopping fraud and enlightening viewability. So let's take fraud first. Fraud is, is a very emotional issue, extraordinarily. Marketers are having money stolen from them. They are involved with, indirectly, with criminals and illegal activity, and they want no part of it. This is only undermining the trust and confidence in the digital media supply chain for marketers to increase their respective investments in digital, mobile, social, as branding and business building tools. The message from my board of directors is stop it and stop it now. I've never seen an, emotion, uh, an issue that has charged their emotions as much as this one. We can all deal with inefficiencies. We can all deal with startup situations. But when you are dealing with situations that have criminal activity involved, where people are literally taking part of your investment and diverting it for somebody else's respective gains, that's where we truly draw the line. And marketers are wanting to come at this with full force to ensure that this issue is in fact not only ameliorated but put to its death. And I'm using very strong words here because nobody wants to be in that type of situation. With respect to viewability, um, it's been a long time coming, but we are, we're gonna claim victory on this one. What we're claiming victory on is the concept of viewability is now permeated throughout the entire ecosystem. Now, whether we truly understand what that truly means, that's another story. But the fact is, is that marketers have finally said, duh, I only want to pay for what has the potential to be seen, just like television. That's not what had happened for many, many years in the digital supply chain, which created the Lumisphere, or Lumiscape, whatever it's called, and has led to a layer of inefficiency and bad decision making. As we now move to the concept of paying only for what, mar of what consumers have the potential to see, we now set the table for what the industry is now gearing towards. Now, it's clunky in our process to get there, which is fine, but we're all marching to the same goal. Everybody knows what needs to get done, and the first ones that get there are going to have the appropriate competitive advantage and are going to gather most of the, the time and money and investment that marketers are willing to share as they get a greater opportunity to be able to build brands through digital. Bob, getting back to the fraud thing for sure. just a minute, so the bad, this bad activity, uh, uh, where does it impact? Does it impact like... I thought it was sort of like the tertiary kind of sites and some, but how pervasive oh. is it on, oh. on sort of on premier publishing sites? Even premium sites. flights. Really? Sites, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Now, the rate of fraud is not as high as, as some of the tertiary sites, as you indicate, but it can happen. It can happen anywhere. Nobody is insulated. And I think that's, that's part of the fallacy that needs to overcome. It doesn't matter who you are, fraud happens, and it happens because the technology behind a lot of the bot sets out there has the ability to swipe your dollars and then your investments and your commercials in ways that were intended to be able to go to those particular sites. So it's, it, as a technology, I, I would counsel you to talk to somebody who can specifically get you, like, like a security company, like we did a study with White Ops that outlined 17 different recommendations as for how marketers, publishers, and agencies can attempt to reduce fraud. For example, certain things like most fraud happens on the weekends. Most fraud happens between 12 at midnight and 7 a.m. Most frauds happens with older browsers. If you simply pay attention to some of the things that provide a greater degree of susceptibility to fraud, you can actually diminish that level of fraud that's out there. But we need much more. And some of the activities that TAG, the Trustworthy Accountability Group, are bringing together will push us in that direction. But we need to push aggressively. There is very little tolerance for this to continue. Imagine you're a marketer and your CEO and CFO happens to knock on your door and say, by the way, I hear that this digital investment that is so important for our respective businesses uh, that uh, is driving brands and sales is also having funds diverted towards um, we'll say less than desirable entities. 
I don't want that to happen anymore. What is a marketer to do? We're caught between a rock and a hard place. So you can understand the conundrum that marketers are in, attempting to ensure that they build their businesses through very efficient media, but also to ensure that their money doesn't get taken from them.